In this video, I'll define percent error and percent difference. I'll also show you how to calculate both. Percent error tells you how big your errors are when you measure something in an experiment. Smaller percent errors mean you are close to the accepted or real value. For example, a 1% error means you got very close to the accepted value, while 45% means you are quite a long way off from the true value. Measurement errors are mostly unavoidable. Equipment can be imprecise, hands can shake, or your instruments just might not have the capability to measure accurately. Percent error will let you know how badly these unavoidable errors affected your results. The percent error formula is the absolute value of accepted value minus experimental value. This is divided by the accepted value multiplied by 100%. You might also see the accepted value written as the true value or theoretical value. For the purposes of calculations, they all mean the same thing, but you might see these other formulas. As an example, the accepted distance to the moon is 238,855 miles. You measure the distance as 249,200. What is the percent error? We insert that data into the formula. We're told the accepted value is 238,855. The experimental value, the one you measured, is 249,200. When I work that out on a calculator, I get 4.33%. Percent error is sometimes reported as being 100 times the relative error. You want to be careful though, because there are actually two types of relative error, one for precision and one for accuracy. The definition 100 times the relative error is only true if you are using the accuracy version of relative error. In that case, you can use the formula relative accuracy equals absolute error divided by the true value times 100%. That definition doesn't work if you're using the relative error for precision. Percent difference is about the same as percent error, only instead of one true value and one experimental value, you compare two experimental values. Here's the formula. E1 is the first experimental measurement. E1 is the first experimental measurement. E2 is the second experimental measurement. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say you make two measurements in an experiment. What is the percent difference? And we're going to plug those numbers into the formula. So we end up with 1 over 21.5. So our percent difference is 4.65%. If you found the video helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.